Welcome to Strength Series with Jay. This show is about one thing, getting you strong. So join me as I lead you through 12 progressive workouts that will have you overcoming the impossible in no time. Welcome back to Strength Series with Jay. Today we're going to continue making progress with your squat and develop upper body strength with rings and kettlebells. So I'm joined by Val and we're going to get started right away. So the first thing you're going to do is start with a one arm squat. And this will be a combination of squatting that we did previously and suitcase carries. So what Val has to focus on doing, staying tight through her midsection, make the, sure this kettlebell doesn't bully her and tip her this way, and then have perfect squats up and down. So all the same principles as before, moving through ankles, knees, and hips together. No tilting forward. And she's gonna do six per side before switching sides with zero rest and then carrying on. This one's a good one to do in the mirror as well so you can see if you're swinging side to side. Eventually you do want to work away from the mirror. Nice job, Val. Good job, I'll take that. And in between, what you're gonna do for recovery is you're gonna find a bench or a stool. We're still developing that overhead position you've been working on previously. We're gonna make this slightly more intense. So what Val does is she exhales as she rocks her hip back, extends through her upper back to the floor, and then brings this dowel overhead. So you're gonna hold that position until you completely run out of air, inhale and come back. Some things to watch out for, similar to before, is there's no sag of her rib cage. It's locked into her body. And you also want to make sure there's no pinching happening in your shoulders. So you should get a stretch here, maybe your tricep, maybe your upper back. So Val's going to do this eight times. In your program, you're going to do six reps per side in the squat. You're going to recover by doing this eight times and you're gonna take two minutes between your squats. So technically Val is resting right now, even though she's still moving. And she's gonna maintain core engagement and just open up her upper back. So when she goes to squat, there's no flare. She can keep her ribs down, but still stay nicely straight. Nice Val. Okay. So let's go do one more set of squats. We're gonna pretend this is her fourth round. So again, she keeps the kettlebell close to her, elbow connected. You can see her wrist is in a straight line. If you're using a smaller kettlebell, it can be a bit uncomfortable on your wrist, so you might have to wear a long sleeve. And after six, if you can just switch and face that way, I guess. And if we watch Val's squat, you can see all her joints are moving together at the bottom and she's rising straight up. Nice Val. Good work. Okay, so once you've completed your fourth round, you don't have to go back to that. That just counts as your rest. You're gonna move on to ring work. So progressing from last week, we're gonna move on to more difficult rows. Val's gonna do what's called a bridge row. So she's gonna come into a high bridge, glutes engaged, ribs down, and she's gonna row chest to rings 10 times. Some things you can notice on Val is that she's pulling with her entire back and opening her chest up. I think of lengthening my collarbone up to the rings. Palms are facing the whole time. There's no sag of her hips. And just like before, she's got her shoulders down, moving through her shoulder blades. Nice. In between every pull, we're gonna do ring mountain climbers. So I'm gonna put these down. So let's jump back in. All right, Val is gonna set up the, on the rings in a push-up position. Like the kettlebell, she's gonna have her hands straight through. And so this is gonna reinforce that plank and push-up position, but also work on a bit of shoulder stability because these things aren't very stable here. From here, she's gonna do mountain climbers. So slowly bringing one leg up, followed by the next, with no sway of the pelvis side to side. Now the entire time that Val's doing this, she's trying to push the rings through the floor. She's trying to get this all the way up to the sky. So you're trying to drive through the floor, keeping abs engaged, glutes engaged, and rem remaining a plank the entire time. Nice Val. So you're gonna do that 10 to 12 times per leg before going back to the bridge row. There you 
we go. We'll imagine Val took a minute rest and she's going to go back to doing 10 to 12 reps of bridge rows. Nice work, Val. Good. And you can see she's not reaching with her head. She's truly bringing her chest up to the rings without overarching. Nice work, Val. So once you've completed three rounds of each with a minute rest in between, you're going to move on to your accessory work. So like before, what we're focusing on is a lot of shoulder stability and a lot of core work here, as well as some single leg work later on. So Val's going to do something called a ring Y. Yeah, you can grab the rings. I'll come behind you. So what she's working on here is moving through her shoulder blades, reaching to the sky and forming a big Y. Hold at the top for a sec. You want to really feel like you're reaching up, but also tucking your shoulder blades together so you can carry on. Val's going to do that eight times total. You can see all the same thing. She's not leading with her rib cage. She's just moving through her shoulder blades. Nice job. And a quick note on this one, because, I'll demo, because when you're at the top, it's so easy comparatively to the bottom. As you get up here, I want you to think of pushing through your feet and leaning back. So you keep some load through your body and then you can slowly lessen the load on your feet as you come down. So if you can see that, I am pushing myself away, trying to maintain that Y position. And then as I come down here, there's much less load on my feet. Val will take 30 seconds rest here and then we're going to do a farmer's carry. I'll give you one of these. So for this one, we're just going to march on the spot, but you're going to imagine just walking around. The first thing you want to do is set position. So we'll just set before you march. Think of this as a postural drill. So you're going to go rib cage down, so abs tight. Then you're going to roll your shoulders back, stay long through your neck, and your goal is to keep that position much like the plank. So it's ribs down, but up really tall. From there, you're going to go for a walk. You're going to spend 60 seconds you want to really feel yourself take one step to the next and make sure your pelvis is not wiggling anywhere. But for this, we're just going to have Val march on the spot. She's got a tight grip on the kettlebells. And yeah, she's going to do that for 60 seconds, which we'll say is up right now. I'll take those. With this farmer's carry, you can handle quite a bit of load in this position. So if you remember previously, we did a suitcase carry. That one shouldn't be too, too heavy, but you can challenge yourself with these. Finally, once you've done two rounds of each with 30 seconds, you're gonna finish with a stretch. Val's gonna do something called a lounge chair. So we'll do it right here. And our whole goal here is trying to open you up in shoulder extension. So the more we get into push-ups or if you do any dips, this position, you don't want to be rolling forward in your shoulders. You want to be able to open up your pec. So what Val does is she thinks of pushing the ground away, opening her chest up as much as she can, and then she's going to slowly scoot her bum forward. Everyone's going to get to a different place here. Once you feel a mild pull through your collarbone, the front of your shoulders, maybe even a little bit in your bicep, you're going to hold there. Be careful you don't feel it in your elbow. Some things you can do is just bend your elbow slightly if you do or just come out of the stretch a little bit. So staying there, taking really deep breaths for 60 seconds, that's going to help you recover and prepare you later for further exercises. All right, that's good Val. Thanks for joining us and until next time, keep making progress.